Good morning. This is Seed of Word in Ministry, and I am Ametta. Today, I want to talk about majoring in ignorance and minoring in selfishness, <laughs> self-righteousness. This is Seed of Word and Ministry, and I am a meta. Majoring in ignorance and minoring in self-righteousness. Let us pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus. This is the day that you have made, and we do rejoice and are glad in it. You've brought us through another week, and we're on our way to the weekend, and we give you praise. We ask God that you look down upon us and that you would open our eyes so that we could understand and see what it is you're trying to tell us in these last days. We give you praise and glory and honor. We thank you for new mercy today and your grace that overshadows us and gives us that unction to go forward that no matter what the situation is, you are God. And besides you, there is no other. We ask, oh God, that you would have mercy upon the sick and afflicted, those who are poor, without food, without water, God make a way. We ask, oh God, that those who are able to contribute to these kind of things, that you would soften their heart, open their hand, and make available funds that they can meet those needs, help meet those needs at least. We ask all of these things in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior. Amen. Amen. Minoring, majoring in ignorance and monitoring in self-righteousness. I have learned so much about myself during the pandemic and the restoration of my body since my surgeries. I have been looking in the mirror of God's word. I want so much to be what God wants me to be and I fall short every day. I want to be strong in the word to help others to not make the same mistakes that I've made, to be in, able to encourage and uplift and help others to see that God is a mighty God. I believe I chose the title 
But when I look back, I believe God on me with it. Majoring and minoring. <laughs> I do remember when I signed up for college, they asked the question, what do you want to minor in? And what do you want to major in? I did not understand the choices, but I knew I wanted to know as much as I could find out about substance abuse. I had a vendetta against it. I believed that uh, substance abuse had a lot to do with the ruin of my plans for my first marriage. My professor said that I should minor in psychology, so I did. I said that I wanted to find out about all I could find out. In the mirror of God's word, I did a lot of majoring in ignorance. If you ask me one time, don't ask me again because I'm going to know it. <laughs> now I was minoring in self-righteousness. As I learned more about the characters in the Bible, I was in with the good guys because they did the same thing I did and God used them. Take a look with, with me at Matthew 16, starting at the 20th verse. Then charged he his disciples that they should tell no man that he was Jesus the Christ. From that time forth began Jesus to show unto his disciples how that he must go to Jerusalem and suffer many things at the hands of the elders and the chief priests and the scribes and to be killed and then to be raised on the third day. Then Peter took him and began to rebuke him saying, be it far from thee, Lord, this is not be unto thee. But he turned and said unto Peter, Get thee behind me, Satan. Thou art an offense unto me, that for thou savorest not the things that be of God, but those that be of men. We seem to have always been picking on Peter, but he was not alone. There was a Paul, a Nathaniel, a Thomas, and guess what, and a me. <laughs> if you find yourself there, don't beat yourself up because blessed is the man who knows his sins, his transgressions. I want us together this morning to look at the meaning of those words, ignorance and self-righteousness. Ignorance is not always viewed for what it really means. Sometimes it's viewed as a negative thought, seen as bad. But this is what Socrates says, that ignorance is the beginning of knowledge, amen. And so does the word of God say that. Ignorance, the lack of knowledge, we do not know at all. This is why Jesus said, do not judge, because for by it you shall also be judged. I've fallen into that trap too. And I'm learning to say, Lord, have mercy, instead of forming a judgment. Self-righteousness is a bad position to find yourself in because sometimes you don't even know you're in it. And you think that you know all, but guess what? You do not. What you do know is what you think, what you feel, what you believe about what the words that were spoken to you were. But if you do not know it all, you are still operating in ignorance. And we need to learn to say, have mercy. There are three sins associated with self-righteousness. They are pride, rebellion, and unbelief. I am using majoring and minoring because it resonates power from one word to another. It is important to understand that we go from ignorance to self-righteousness. It is ignorance that goes ahead of self-righteousness and often is manifested in our behavior and our verbiage. She is old, she don't know what she's talking about. She's too young to even possibly know anything. Ah, but those are dangerous words. The truth be told, the Bible says that in the latter days, 
the weaker generation shall be wise. Paul wrote, I would not have you ignorant. Early in the morning when I rise up, I had the word on my mind. I want to hear praise. I want to sing praise. I want to talk to God. In 1 Corinthians 10 and 1, Paul writes, Moreover, brethren, I would not that you should be ignorant how that our, all our fathers were under the blood and passed through the sea. There are times where we just don't want and we need someone to teach us to bring us to the full knowledge of Jesus Christ. Uh, Jesus said that he sent back, amen, teachers and pastors to lead us to become the fullness of Jesus Christ. When you don't know or have knowledge, just say have mercy and get busy and find out. <laughs> I can hear James on good times saying, Lord, have mercy. He said it when his thoughts were positive, and he said it when his thoughts were negative. Have mercy. This is what we need to say. We don't always want just, we want justification, but that was done through Jesus Christ. What we need now is mercy. Have mercy. You could tell when James was thinking negative things because he would have that sly, sheepish look on his face. And when it was positive, you would see a reverence on his face. I want us to visit the words pride, rebellion, and unbelief. Pride, one's own satisfaction, self-satisfaction on your achievement. Don't get me wrong, it's good to have pleasure in your accomplishments, but when your behavior demonstrates you are the only one that can do it, you are over in to self-righteousness. Peter thought he had the right to pull up Jesus to the side and rebuke him. And rebuke it is not a pleasant word. It is sharp disapproval of what was just said. Therefore, Peter fulfilled the next presentation of, uh, of rebellion, the act of not agreeing with the truth. Hmm. Peter was not very quiet speaking, gentlemen. I don't believe he pulled Jesus over to the side and said, well, you know what, I, I kind of differ with you, Jesus. I believe he said it kind of loudly. And I believe that he said it was such unction that Jesus had to speak to him about it. How do you think Peter might have made the statement? Now, Peter is in a dangerous position. Unbelief? Jesus, let him have it. <laughs> Can you see how Peter's face must have felt when God pointed out, when Jesus pointed out, that he was not only ignorant, but operating in self-righteousness? May God change my minors and majors so that I can be what he wants and needs me to be now, in this time. How can I do that? Read and study the Word of God. Keep the quiet times with God. Pray and fast. Be with those who demonstrate the love of God. Amen. Those things will help us to stay away from ignorance and self-righteousness. Amen. We don't want to be in those areas. So we ask God to open our eyes.
to open your eyes as I continue to ask him to open my eyes. Blessed, blessed, blessed weekend. Go to church if you can. In Jesus' name be safe. Amen.